Two hurricanes will strike land this weekend by two different oceans. Welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Hena Talati. Two hurricanes will strike land this weekend by two different ocean basins. Tammy in the Atlantic and Norma in the Eastern Pacific. Neither are a threat to the United States, but the Norma has triggered hurricane warnings for Mexico, including the popular resort town of the Cobo San Lucas and Tammy for the portions of the Leeward Islands, a chain of several island nations between the Caribbean Sea and the open Atlantic. Tammy was category 1 hurricane with the sustained winds of 80 miles per hour on Friday night centered about 55 miles east of Martinique, the National Hurricane Center said at 11 p.m. ET. It is forecast to slowly strengthen as it tracks to the Leeward Islands. Hurricane force winds extended outward up to 25 miles from the storm center and the tropical storm force winds extended outward up to 125 miles. Tammy was expected to move near or over the portions of the Leeward Islands through Saturday night and then move north of the northern Leeward Islands on Sunday. Hurricanes in the parts of the Atlantic are rare for the late October. Tammy is only the third hurricane to form this far southeast in the Atlantic since 1900 according to the hurricane experts. A storm surge of 1 to 3 feet is possible for the parts of the Leeward Islands. Heavy rainfall will be one of the storm's most serious threats and could result in flash flooding and mudslides. Rainfall totals for the Leeward Islands are expected to 4 to 8 inches but could reach 1 foot in places where the heaviest rain sets up. Now, Hurricane Norma. Hurricane Norma heads for Mexico. Hurricane Norma was category 3 storm with a maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour in the Pacific Ocean on Friday night, the National Hurricane Center said. It was centered about 145 miles south of Cobo San Lucas, Mexico. The storm is expected to weaken before any Saturday landfall, but it still is expected to be a hurricane when it moves near or over the southern portion of the Baja California Sur, including the Cobo San Lucas area. And the dangerous storm surge is likely to produce coastal flooding in the areas of onshore winds within the hurricane warning area, the National Hurricane Center said. Near the coast, the surge will be accompanied by the large and destructive waves, the Hurricane Center said. Tropical storm conditions were expected to ramp up to hurricane conditions in the South Baja California Sur, including Cobo San Lucas, by early Saturday. The storm will bring heavy rainfall and flooding to the areas through Sunday, and the rainfall totals of 5 to 10 inches, with the isolated totals approaching 15 inches, are possible through Sunday across the far southern portions of the California Baja Sur. These rains will likely produce flash and urban flooding along with the possible mudslides in the areas of the higher terrain, the National Hurricane Center warned. After ranking Baja California Sur, the storm will then make turn to the east, cross the Gulf of California and make landfall somewhere along the eastern coast of the mainland Mexico by early Monday. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.